How's it going everyone? It's Cody with another episode of Fishing Planet. So today we're in St. Croix. We're going to be trying to catch musky, pike, walleye, and smallmouth. And some probably a bunch of trout because we do catch a lot of trout here. So me and Trey's fishing here. Um, if you miss Monday's video where we, me and Trey and my buddy Daryl, we go out creek fishing and we catch bait fish and some we catch pike and trout and stuff. That video will be up in the right hand corner. So let's go in and get into this and see what we can catch today. Alright, so we're all set up. Um, Alright, so you said you're into the pier. I guess, yeah. Everything is working real fast. <clears throat> oh, $2,000 for coming here. That's nice. Trey's already been here. As you can tell, he's been catching a lot of fish right now. <coughs> what the heck am I hung on? And only one that I absolutely <sighs> hate. That what? I didn't get to include, and it was a almost thirteen pound brown trout. I'm using a hatched runner right now. I don't know what the hell I'm gonna catch. <laughs> I just wanted to try How this thing. Uh, three foot. <laughs> How the heck you get over where you're at? The map. Uh oh. Gotcha. I'm trying to find you. Oh, there you are. So what you catching? After walla. I'm just going to throw this out there and see what happens. I just bought this lure. Um, as you can tell, I bought a bait caster with 20 pound braid. Um, I got like my other old pole that I was using to catch bass in Florida. I doubt anything would eat this. Being that the first morning is pretty nice and clear, you ought to go to our right, mm -hmm. way to the end down there, and just brave up and see what kind of musky action you can get. I should be able to catch a musky as long as it ain't a 60 pounder. Well, now you see, that's the thing with Fishing <laughs> Planet. It likes to make you pay for air. So you said the right. Yeah. From where we're at all, now? Um, let me read that. Oh, I can't have my rod while we cast. Yeah, it'll be all the way up that uh, canal over there. The Kings of the Green Bay or Woods of the East Bank? Well, I'll just go all the way to the right. I do. Oh, this is where you got to throw over the bush, ain't it? Mm hmm. I think it's the bush, this bush to the right. Something I don't know. I can't remember where the muskie are. I'm gonna throw this so, thing. Give me a second. Oh, my line. Are... You're good. Maybe three feet is perfect. It right is here, called dude. King of the Green Bay. And I will caution you to put a leader on. Yeah, I have one on. All three of my poles have a leader on. I just I don't know if they're gonna hit this hunched runner. Three foot's perfect death for this though. Right in the middle. I would try it with stop and go. Stop and go on a... On a Hans runner. It works for crankbait. It's, it's what I catch all my musky on. Just saw some, I just saw one right at the bank, dude. Either that was a pike or that was a musky. I don't know you if else... You have to watch that, too. Because there's some monstrous northern pike here. I'm gonna go ahead and get my alternate cam set up. Alright. Let's see if I can actually get it working. Which, of course, it'll be terrible quality. Maybe it's too slow. 
You don't have to show me where these things are. I've only been musking, musky right. fishing here one time. And... Alright, so you're in a northern pike spot. If you come this way here... Or hang on a second. Yeah, if you come this way right here. Yeah, that's right. It was over here. Do, 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 do. Or right here at these lily pads? Nope. You go all the way up here to the end. Now, I'll warn you, because you haven't hooked one of these yet, to probably go ahead and doll your drag down one extra, <laughs> one extra notion. Just, just uh, I got it on, it. I got Gosh. it on half. Oh, dang it! I hate this freaking Xbox controller. <sighs> this is where the game makes me pay for uh, the arrogance of that brown trout earlier. Well, this controller I'm using the LB buttons, really fidgety and sticks. What we got. I don't know how far I can actually throw it here without hitting the other side of the bank. Oh, we're good. I really did. Might catch a muskie? It's showing. I can turn that drag up just there a little. There he is. Speaking of musky, I saw that my tiger musky fish, uh, fishing, real VR fishing video is up to almost 100, it's over 160 views. Nice. Um, I actually did some pretty good work for you there when I was hanging out with you there a couple weeks back. Yeah. Catching those monster trout out, and I think it was uh, uh, either Ohio or Oregon. I want to say. Yeah, I think it was Oregon. Um, I'm I'm in a fight for my life right now, dude. Did you hook into one? Yeah, I got one, and it's at 111 feet right now. That's the good part. I took my drag up a little bit more. He's running in now. You can run your drag all the way up until it's like borderline red. The muskie you're worried about hooking is a clear muskie because that's going to be the well, that's going to be the king of this cove <clears throat> i have caught him in here up to 60 pounds oh i got something on here and he's just taking drag yeah they fight pretty good it's like a salmon fight all over again <laughs> but these guys are worth way better money and a lot of XP. Even if we can't keep them, you know, we're getting killer XP. Um, another little thing I was going to show you was along the banks down here and on the other side across from you, if you fish the lily pad group mm -hmm. on both sides, it's real good for uh, northern pike possibilities. You can even float fish it with four aught hooks, the same setup you would use for catfishing, shiners, just about 25 inches down, okay. and they'll just destroy it. I mean, for the fish, the first fish for this video is already a, already a putting up a heck of a fight on this pole. I had a nice northern pike in pursuit of my walker just now. I mean, <laughs> sounds like you're getting the better of him. Yeah, I mean, he's within 50-some feet, but now he's going back up to 60-some, <laughs> so. Yeah, but 50-some feet in this canal isn't very much. Because the whole canal is probably a hundred wide. Here he comes. He's coming in now. See what it is. Oh, I think that caught me a little northern pike. Yep. Seventeen pound musky. What'd that pay you? I'll let you know in a minute. I'm trying to get. Oh goodness. Uh. Let me see. How do you get out of this? Oh. I was trying to get a picture, but we're inside of the bushes. Uh, a thousand dollars. Hey, four hundred dollars in four hundred twenty-four XP. The question is: Is when somebody gonna act? shouldn't be hooked into on a twenty-two pound rig? Oh, I'm about to do it if this guy. Oh, thank God he missed. All right, while you're doing that real fast, um, you said... look like somebody's submerged kayak was about to eat my bait. You said you're streaming, right? I am. 
think it just come up today. Five members. I had a nice chase over here a second ago, and I'm maybe a little cautious about, you know, hooking a 30 pounder on this rig, right. but I'm willing. See if I can get your camera set up real fast. Oh, it's already set up. Sweet. Um, if you're wondering why I keep zooming in, it's because I like to watch the action of that bait so I can see if something's trailing it because you'll miss things a lot by trying to react to it top water like you would in real life, I guess. You know, mostly because who doesn't want to yank the hook when they hear one bust the top? <laughs> Where's my anaconda back at? I missed him earlier. Honestly, got a musky. You're done here and throw. You know, I, I am kind of confident in this rig because I, we didn't record it, of course. <laughs> but I took a 19 pound rig and managed to catch a 63 pound flathead. Yeah, it it took 45 minutes to an hour of time, but I got it in. <laughs> Let's see if I can catch another pike over here, or something over here. Do you have a popper? I do not. I mean, I do, but it's not. It's not big enough. Is it a two aught? Yeah. They don't care. I don't know. Ooh, Northern shoot. Pike. What the heck was that? They hit right at Northern, the bank. Yeah, they'll do that. I've actually caught. Uh, I think one of my biggest uh, clear muskies on the PlayStation came from being caught at like six foot at the bank. It just happened to come through the leaves with chasing the bait <laughs> and bit it right at my feet, and I reeled it. It's like, oh, here you go. Fish a 10,000 cast, though. Throw 50 times and catch one 10 pounds 12 times in a row. Oh, Lordy. I just missed a good one. <laughs> the game's after me, man. That was a musky. Dude, I'm just, like, they're coming right up to the bank to me. And I'm trying to stop. Let me back up a little bit. Maybe they're seeing me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like our fishing video of the day when we were trying to catch that trout. They're seeing us. He actually was seeing us because the water in that creek is down right now by mm -hmm. at least a foot or two. And that's just, God, that poor creek is terrible because it relies on mountain streams. And these are mountain streams that are getting fed by nothing less than rainwater. That's it. And it yeah. dries up in no time. Oh. How far can I go out that way? Ooh. Throw over to you. Alright, I'm about to do something dangerous. I'm gonna go up here and fish the dangerous end of the hole. If you see there's a better angle on this musky if you come up here, Cody. Yeah. But the problem is, is the first place he's gonna run is straight away from you until it's down the cove long ways. And this is probably where I'm going to hook one. Oops. It's going to be worthy of getting real about. Well, nothing big, but new personal record for me. Northern Pike. I didn't get it on camera because she's watching y'all. I want to switch, but he, caught, he bit right at the bank. And it was just nothing. I'm going to go and switch cams. Let me make sure that did work. Yeah, it did. Yeah, so these these fish are hitting like right at the bank. As soon as I get to right here, they hit right here. Twenty feet in front of me. Alright, so there's that. Let's I um I think eight foot crankbait's gonna be a little bit too much. Might I would love to have a major pop. 
the screen paint's gonna be too much. Yeah, it's dragging the bottom. We might catch something with it though. This is dragging the bottom. Oh, mean. I'm on. Are you? Yeah, I just got smashed. All right, camera's on you. Uh, dude, he's up in the grass. I'm reeling a fish across the bank. Uh, it's swinging by my feet, and that fight's over. Caught it up my feet. <laughs> yep. All right, I'm going to switch over. I got one on me. I got a uh, fish on. Do not know what it is yet. That definitely wasn't the culprit I was after. <laughs> I think I got a, I got another, I got a nine, yeah, a nine pound pike, 822 oh, bucks, man. They, they pay good though. Yeah, they do. Them Northerns can get huge on here. No, I'm trying to catch one. I think my tr biggest unique was maybe, I want to say right around 30, maybe more. I mean, he hit it, he hit it on the bottom because it's like I said, I'm missing an eight foot crankbait. You can run that at a one speed, though. Yeah, I'm running out of two speed right now. I'm cranking it in. <laughs> All right. Well, I will be back in this area in a moment. Where would you it's catch? Gonna... Where would you catch the smallies at, man? Um. So if you pull up your map, right? Yeah, let me. And you just across from the boat launch is a place called Sandy Cape. If you spawn in there, I'll go ahead and show you. Yeah, I'll go and go there now. Um. And and honestly, my most action from jig head <laughs> with the purple worm yeah i'm gonna i'm gonna try my bass setup that i used in florida and just do it uh a lift problem drop. is problem is is uh i was running the same thing mm -hmm. to begin and i kept hooking up on atlantic salmon which are crap money and just a massive fight they just tear your reel up really so Basically, you see this buoy out here? Yeah, that buoy straight out in front of us mm -hmm. or this one. Or and then if you look over there, there's a sailboat parked. You can kind of see the platform out in front of it, right? Yeah. The uh, fishing platform you can stand on. Mm -hmm. You want to just fish between that buoy and just to the right, kind of like you're looking at that other buoy, between the two buoys. Okay. Yep. Let me, uh, let me pull out the old bass jig. And I'm gonna try a two inch shad on it right now. If it if this doesn't work, then I'll switch. I just want to try to catch as much fish as I can for this video. See if we can get some lift and drop action. Dang, it's deep out there, dude. Oh, it's it's really deep, and then it comes off of a shelf back. I have a hundred pounds of fish on me, right? Mm -hmm. I'm curious. I've got about eight grand on me. I don't know if that was a fish or what that was. Might have you, uh, might have hit. No, I'm lifting, dropping. I might have hit that shell. If you if you want big brown trout, fish that buoy right there with that medium spoon. Okay. They'll destroy it. Lift and drop. something was on here <clears throat> all right let me try uh i'm gonna try my twitching i did that earlier i didn't have hardly any luck what? with twitching what or was stopping you, what was you reason. what was you using spoons and a worm look didn't even have time didn't even have time to even let it sit down dude and got a fish on i was adjusting my speed and as soon as i hit my speed it it bit. This might be a salmon, though. <coughs> Looks like a salmon. It's a salmon. Yep, salmon, salmon. <laughs> oh, it depends on where you live at, how you pronounce it. <laughs> it does. How many people you ever hear in your life call it Appalachia or Appalachia? <laughs> yeah. I fucking live here, and I don't even care for. <laughs> yeah, I mean it's three hundred bucks for seven for pounds. Eight pounds yeah, do yeah. Most of the fish though are about a hundred dollars a pound. Yeah, I'm really Sam. Um, all right, so that we know that will catch salmon. So put the four rod on and the purple worm. 
And you were just doing lift and drop with this. Lift right? and drop, and it's like you just you just never know. You're either gonna <laughs> hook a brown trout or a damn one speed or two speed. I was two speeding it, but it all depends. Your real setup's different. Yeah, I mean it's just a bait caster, which is not very good on here. They did horrible for bait casters on here. Out of the twitching. I thought I got something. I hooked one. Did you? Oh, I got. Oh, I got. I don't know if that's a big, small, big uh, brown trout, but I'm almost something. Oh, it hammered it. I think it's a big old brown trout. It is. Oh, it's definitely a good one, though. I'm, I'm still good. If it's a unique, I'm guessing yeah. eight, nine pounds, but it definitely ain't no 12. Yeah. 12 took me for a rocket earlier. Still trying to get used to just um, hot keys. Lift and drop. Uh -oh. Well, the hot keys on my keyboard from switching cameras. Like, as soon as you catch a fish, I hit a key and it switches right to you, which is nice. There he is. Yep, eight pounds. Eight pounds. I figured he was something around that. Yeah, 580 bucks for eight pounds. I'll take that. 27 inch trout. <laughs> I'm sitting over here like, yeah, I'll take an eight pound trout. Like, dude, uh, I've seen an eight-pound trout around here. It'd be a friggin' miracle. God. <laughs> Everybody and their brothers out there, like, they might as well have a damn campfire, like an early release video game coming out. <laughs> the trout truck could be pulling out to go <laughs> go to a, a inspection on the vehicle. They'd follow him 20 miles before they realize he ain't putting no fish out. I'm probably gonna have to do a one speed. Is this real? Comes up a high lot. Recovery. Yeah, it's got a very high recovery on it. Just learning this lift and drop is just. Yeah, I'm terrible at it. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, I want a controller and everything, and I still can't do it. Spice things up. Yeah, I did catch an eight pound unique smallmouth here. That was nice. Caught him on a spoon, though, it says. <laughs> Damn trout. What's going on? I came here with a prayer to catch a unique walleye. The game's like, oh, hell. Forget about that, buddy. You catch Hope everything in. We'll catch every I'm other unique. The, <laughs> I know. I'm hoping when the sun goes down that it'll pick up. Which is absolutely comical to me. Because walleye, they don't care. <laughs> I am not having any luck with this. Oh, hold up. Fish on. Don't know what it is yet. Ain't nothing too big. Oh, there's a my new personal best of two pounds small small mouth. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we will keep him. Um awesome. I'm gonna, throw a, I'm gonna throw a crankbait out and just see what happens. See what happens with the crankbait. Maybe a small will eat it. I don't see why not.
Well, nothing on that cast. Wait till we start catching flatheads on green bait. <laughs> Yeah, nothing wants this crankbait. Uh, let's try this punch runner again. <clears throat> Where's the wall on that location? It's supposed to be here. Oh. Fish on. Yep. I got a trout. I just got a tiger trout on a freaking fish. Gray's got oh, one now. God. He's coming in pretty good. I think I got another trophy brown. Yep, trophy brown. The walleye location, buddy? I have no idea. It's supposed to be... Fish on. And then there's supposed to be one by the canal. I mean, you just... You never know. All right, so the... The, the trophy brook trout. <laughs> so the brook trout, I don't know where they go because I caught them here and the... Um, the catfishing platform over there. Yeah. Plumb down there at the canal. He ain't where it opens up. $185 for two pounds. That ain't really, really anything good. I think, for right now, I think smallmouth fishing is probably where it's at. And especially uh, musky and pike fishing is probably where it's at if you want to get money here. And pike fishing is where it's at. Yeah. But That's I'm probably what we're going to do to grind a bunch. Because we're... Our next purchase is a bigger fishnet and possibly a boat. So you said the walleye was here? It's supposed to be. Hooked into another fish. Small mouth. What do they like? Do they like the normal stop and go? That's what I've been doing. Right there on the bottom. Or just twitching, honestly. For brown trout, I'll just throw the medium spoon and twitch it. Fish on. Oh, I got a good one. Oh, I got a real nice brown trout. Yeah, I got a nice one. Hey, fishy. I'm at over a hundred and this thing's just screaming. <laughs> I've got another I've got another monster brown. Yep. It's ten pound fish easy. 
my goal on the brown trout was to break 15 pounds. Oh, and it just went nighttime for me. That's perfect. As soon as I get this guy in, I'm going to switch up to wall off it on a whole new level. Come on. Don't be like that. I've been trying to stop and go, and I ain't got the first fish. As soon as I start twitching, now a fish comes to it. Fish here are finicky, man. They didn't like stop and go in the morning. Dude, this is a brown trout or maybe a humongous tiger. That thing is huge, whatever that is. You've seen it jump? Oh, yeah. It loves 100 feet, I know that. Oh, he's coming in now. Nope. Made a liar of me there. Oh, why intention going? Oh, it's a monster. We're back at a hundred. This thing is screaming. It has to be that four odd hook. Because I have not caught a single fish. He's using, I believe, a medium one and a half ounce spoon with four rod. Yeah, I'm using a half ounce. It's a huge brown trout. Because, um. 13.2 pounds, $1,000. <laughs> That's going in the fishnet all day. Hey, yeah. pee and get a little pan around there. Yeah, he, oh, uh. Yeah. He bought a better pole than that. The spinning reels are just so much better on this game. And in real life, bait casters are really good. I love them. I don't have a bait caster yet. I'll get one someday. Yeah, it's okay. We'll get you one, and then we'll teach you how to bird nest it. <laughs> yeah. I just messed up. I'm throwing the wrong tackle now. Yeah, you'll probably still catch one. I'll give it a go, but I doubt it. I'm just going to throw it. I'm trying to figure out what these things are going to like. I'm going to let it sink to the bottom. I've been do I've been fishing the middle right now, but maybe they're not. That coyote howl was about as loud as they come. I do lift and drop. check my time anyways i don't I know what the fishing looks like i haven't even adjusted my time yet I've just i know st croix really likes to mess with time especially around hot spots because you can make a lot of money in this place hmm. fish on not quite sure what it is yet Did I... mistake <laughs> well, it seems I have mistake. It sounds like no spoon. I think I got a salmon. What it looks like. Yep. Seven pound salmon. Not exactly what I'm looking for. Is this too late? It is too late. In, so put that on. I'll go. If I catch something big on this thing, <laughs> we're gonna have a heck of a fight. Oh yeah, I forgot I'm using my other bass rig. Um, I'm gonna pull out the the traditional <laughs> walleye. You're gonna pull out the old spoon and pray. Yeah, the narrow spoon with um. 12 pound test <laughs> and if I hook a walleye I'm gonna have a hell of a fight
Just showing. Don't exactly know what it is yet. Probably a trout. What it is? Trophy trout. Trophy tiger. Uh, tiger trout. Hundred and ninety-two bucks. <laughs> I wish we still stock tiger trout. <sighs> They may eat everything they can get their head around, but they're fun yeah. to hook. Right, let's do it down. We're at real fast. Yeah, we're at 36 minutes. We're going to go and end the video here. Hopefully, everybody kind of got an idea of where to go and what to, what to catch and try to earn money on this game. I know it's very tedious and time-consuming unless you spend money in the game, uh, which we're still not doing. Thanks everyone for watching and we'll see you on the next video.